any plan to call us to the GPU market on the global level? Yes, so what we focused on is different segments like CAD and animation. So animation is a very interesting segment for us because uh, what we want to do is provide tools that empower the creative artists by giving them better application performance and reliability. So in animation, you know, people want to be creative. They want to not have to wait for their computer to catch up. So that's an area that we have a very strong focus. Do you see the dominating the market today? How has the growth been and where does it stand today? Yes, as you know, the economy, global economy is a little bit difficult right now. So uh, GPU business has been growing, you know, high single digits uh, for the past few years. But we've actually seen a decline this year. And then uh, what we expect, and of course industry analysts are trying to predict, is uh, this, this year will be a decline and then it will start to pick up towards the end of the year and then continue on a growth path. A lot of new products and uh, new marketing plans for AMD now. Yes, so we have had an increased focus on professional graphics uh, for the past two years. We've been doing a lot of engineering, right, to improve the product and made some strong investments there with the software vendors like Autodesk. And then um, last August at SIGGRAPH, we announced a new brand called ATI Fire Pro. That brand is uh, to signal the change from ATXR GL, right, where we have made a lot of engineering investments in tuning and reliability improvements. Um, that product is doing quite well since we launched it in the market in August. And then the news that we have today is that there are designs or offerings from HP, Dell, and Lenovo of our graphics products of the ATI Fire Pro. So this is the largest offering of ATI graphics in the professional space in the history of the product line. So we're very excited. One of the areas that AMD is investing a lot is working with the software vendors. We know that when an artist goes to select uh, a hardware platform, the first thing they want to say is, what hardware is going to be best for the software that I'm using, if it's um, 3ds Max or Maya? Mm -hmm. So we go to Autodesk and with our engineers, and we work together with them to tune their software to use our hardware most efficiently. So you get the most out of your dollar that you're spending. And in fact, uh, the ATI Fire Pro has better performance than the Radeon with applications like Maya. So this is very beneficial to the users. And um, this close Autodesk relationship will continue and will even grow it as well. So we can continue to make improvements in the software and how it works with the hardware. AMD made an announcement uh, last summer about uh, Cinema 2.0 and Cinema 2.0 was all about how can we take the quality that you find when you go to the cinema and move that more into gaming. Gaming is very interactive and that makes the experience exciting for the user but they would like to have higher quality just as if you're at the cinema. So uh, AMD made an announcement with ASUS and has had some contests to provide a better gaming platform for uh, you know the gamers. On the animation side or the game development side, again there's an opportunity to provide better tools so that you can increase the, uh, the game experience. Um, we made an announcement yesterday with Epix Labs. Epix Labs is an organization who's really the only one developing games in India based on Bollywood content. Mm -hmm. And so um, we are working with them to provide them tools for their next game that will be coming out so that they can increase the realism in the gaming environment. So it's very exciting. Uh, how can ATV support the animation and gaming community in India? Yes. So the animation and gaming community in India is going, growing quite fast, much faster than the world. And uh, so I think animators are thinking, how can they compete, right? How can they be more creative and have um, better quality imagery than any of the other animators that would be in another country. And the way to do that is to make sure the tools are supporting their productivity. Because if, if they can let their creativity flow and they don't have to be held back waiting for the computer, then, um, then they can be more creative and have a better product. And that helps them compete with other animators in other countries.